Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Ms. Roxanne's Daily Rambles. Today we're doing Supergirl Season 1, Episode 6, called Red Faced. So we start off with two people having road rage. And so uh, they're literally speeding down the highway and literally almost took out a whole bunch of kids through a crosswalk. So Supergirl um, literally stops them and then they get mad about it. And so she twists the guy's arm. And uh, she just, then she let go, and then she just kind of got, then she just left. And then we have um, Maxwell Lord is being a bit of, is being a prick. I forgot I said that, I love that word. And we find out that also, um, he's just being a prick on the news and being rude and slandering stuff. Then we have Lucy's dad is in town, he's a general. And then uh, James invited Lucy to Carr's game night. And it was actually a pretty fun game night. It was a touch awkward, but it was still fun. Then Kat's mom is in town, who's a bigger B than Kat is. And then we have Alex asks when to break into the DO's mainframe, and he said he'll do it. And then Lane, the Lanes, both uh, Lucy and the dad are at the D.O. And then they demand that Carl has to fight Red Tornado. And Kat's mom cancels dinner. So Kat is on a warpath now. And she knows about James and Carl crushing on her. She knows about Carl crushing on James. Yeah. And kind of slams her a little bit. And <laughs> it's not pretty. And then we have game night. And then we have when is bad at game night. Like, really bad. And But overall, like I said, it does go pretty good. And then uh, we have Supergirl versus Red Tornado. Supergirl wins. And then we have Lane blames Supergirl when she broke Red Tornado. It was like, a, like I think they said like $3 billion project. Mmm. Then Lane fires the creator, and the creator does not dig it too well. Then we have Cat yells at Kara. Then Kara snaps at Cat, and then she just leaves. Then, um, oh no, wait. Then, uh, then Cat says they are leaving. They're going somewhere. And then Alex uh, shows Max the Red Tornado's arms and wants his help to track it. He says, he says no, but leaves the, uh, he did something with the arm. I can't remember what he did, but he did something. And then we have an awkward dinner with the Lanes and James. And the dad says that James is not good enough for Lucy and belittles him. And then Kat takes Kara out and schools her about her and her being emotional at work. It's like, you can't do it. You got to shut up. You got to take it and deal with it. And she needs to find the anger behind the anger. So then we have Red Tornado for Supergirl again. And he creates a tornado. But Supergirl moves to basically do what the Flash did and run in the opposite direction to get rid of it. And Delane still blames her. Which is stupid. And then we have uh, Red Tornado is, is laced with red and that's with lead, and that's why Supergirl can't track it. Then we have Henshaw, Henshaw, Hank, puts them in place. And then Max makes Alex dinner and tells the creator is behind it. Uh, then we have Carr and James get their aggressive aggressions out by punching a car in a punching bag. And then we have, where, where the F was on? Uh, and she blurts out that she wants to be normal. So that's her uh, anger behind the anger. And then we have uh, Red Tornado versus Supergirl again. And Alex versus the creator of the Red Tornado. And so um, Alex managed to off him, but not before he transferred his brain over. And so now the Red Tornado is now sentient, but Carr kills it and goes a little touch overboard. 
And uh, then we have Lucy quits, and then Wynn tells them about Henshaw, and then he said that he might have killed uh, Alex's dad. And then we have Kat snaps at her mother, and then Kara got a cut because she, uh, she went, she ever did it, not went overboard. She ever did it, so she did. It, she's powerless, so she got a cut. And that's the end of the episode. This is a pretty good episode. I'll probably will give this. Uh, I'll probably give this an A minus, just because the acting at the very beginning was like, "Yeah, you I ever doing it so bad." <laughs> that's why I like Vancouver people better. They seem to be better actors than the people in Los Angeles. It's very hard to explain. It's like. They overdo it, but I feel like people in Vancouver, they get it just right, because there's literally been no issues, or at least from my perspective, about the dummies in the extras are being, like, well, extra, like, too extra. But anyway, overall, it was a really good video um, episode. I really did enjoy it. Um, that's the only reason why I got a minus, so... Other than that, it was a pretty good episode, and you get to learn more about Cara and how she just kind of, she almost be a normal person. For at least a little bit. Before she has to be Supergirl and be all these things. She just wants to be normal. Which is understandable. So that's going to do it for this episode. This video. So if you like this video, please go to like. Comment down below. Tell me what you think of the episode. Do you agree? Disagree? Just let me know down below. Any suggestions? Also let me know down below. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye everybody.